Raylan, you want to go for a ride? <laughs> Here we go. You got Billy? <laughs> yes, I have Billy. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You're in a good mood right now, aren't you? Was that fun? <laughs> So we've had that van for probably three or four years now, I think. Uh, I think that's about right. It was modified specifically for Raylan, and it just works out really, really well for her needs. I should go back out there and show you how it works. I really can't remember if I've thoroughly showed how Raylan's van works before, but I'm going to try to do that right now. <laughs> uh, of course, here is her van. It's a Toyota Sienna. It's a great van. Um, and from the outside, it's beautiful, but whenever they have to modify a van for a wheelchair, they basically have to gut the inside of it. So the, the, the rear seating isn't nearly as comfortable as a normal Toyota Sienna would be. Whenever they modified this one, they, well, I'll show you what they did. So typically in a Toyota Sienna, there's a, there's a seat here that goes all the way across. But in order to have Raylan's wheelchair um, wheel up all the way to the center of the second row here, uh, so that she's right behind us in the driver's seat. They basically had to take out that whole bench and then um, put really small seats on the sides. Uh, there's one here, one on the other side. And I don't know if you can tell, but these are not big chairs. <laughs> They're very, very small chairs. I'll go ahead and sit in, sit in one of them. Ugh. They're tiny. Um, there's no, there's no armrest. Um, See there, there's no armrest. It's just kind of, you, your arm just kind of has to hang. <laughs> um, and they're they're small. Like, I just I just barely fit into it. <laughs> uh, that being said, you know it's it's cushiony enough. <laughs> it's comfortable enough. Our kids have said that they're they're comfortable enough in here. <laughs> and that's how it is on both sides. There's one on this side. There's one on that side over there. Uh, just. Really small, compact seating on the sides of where Raylan sits, which is right here. So her chair, when she rolls in, comes straight up the ramp and locks in right here. Pardon the mess. Um, <laughs> probably need to clean out a little bit. Uh, but this is called the Q-Lock system. It's by Q-Strength. But basically, that allows her to just wheel in and then just automatically lock in place. Uh, we do have uh, manual tie-downs. Um, if we need to use them for some reason, if the electronic uh, key lock system is not working, uh, we have manual tie downs. There's one on each corner of her chair. So there's four of them. One, two, three, <laughs> four. And there's four more spots where if we wanted to move the uh, tie downs to the back, we could. I don't know why we would ever do that, but it's available to us if we need to. <laughs> and actually, I do know why we might do it. With her hip surgery coming up soon, they're going to cast her legs real wide, if you know what I mean. Like, her legs are going to be split apart like this when they're casted. Um, so her legs will literally need way more room than uh, I think is available here um, where her chair usually goes. So, uh, I think maybe when she comes home from the hospital, her wheelchair will come and stay right there with the tie downs. I think that's what's going to happen. We hope there's enough room. So, okay. All that being said, um, so she can roll in and then there's still more seating as well. This here on the side is actually a seat as well. It folds down. It, <laughs> the way it happens is that there's a little, not sure how well you can see it, but there's a lever here that pushes in and then this whole thing can be pulled down and it locks in place here. There's another little lever here on the corner that we can push. It releases the seat so that we can pull it up. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure if that translated well on camera. Um, but now there is a seat in the back for two more people. Once again, it's a tight fit. It's not a super comfortable tube, but it's, it's, it's seating. So our van actually seats including Raylan, seven people. Driver, passenger, two passengers in the second row and two passengers in the third row. Uh, so it, it actually, in terms of seating, is enough seating for our whole family plus a friend. Not too shabby. <laughs> and then this thing goes back down the same way it came up. 
There's a little lever here. Push that down, seat folds down, and a uh, lever down here. And then this whole seat can fold up like that. All right, <laughs> so that's the explanation of how all that works. <laughs> the way that she unlocks after she is rolled in, I need, to, I need to probably bring her in to show this, but basically she can unlock just by the push of a button. And if she, if she isn't locked in, it warns us of that. So it's a really good system. I'll go ahead and show that too. So obviously Raylan is not in the van with us right now. So if I put the key in the ignition and then turn it on, it's gonna warn me that she's not locked in. Um, and you'll hear it. Hear that? Hear that loud squealing noise? <laughs> That's warning me that she's not locked in. At that point, I need to push this button down here. It says silence the alarm. And it'll turn that off. <laughs> By doing that, I'm basically saying... Uh, I know she's not in the vehicle. It's okay. <laughs> it, it's a really good system. It's called the Q lock from Q strength or the quick lock from Q strength is what it's called. When we had our van mo modified by Purple Mobility in Georgia, uh, he, he wasn't familiar with that system at first, uh, but we're like, we really want this because uh, that is just going to make it that much easier to get Raylan in and out of the van. We don't have to take time to tie her down, untie it when we're getting out and those kinds of things. Um, we wanted something quick. And that's kind of signifies a lot of things when it comes to our care for Raylan. We want systems by which Raylan will be able to uh, fluidly be part of our lives as much as possible uh, in easy ways for her and us, if that makes sense. So when it comes to hopping in the car, it, it shouldn't be a long process. We roll her in, she's in. That's it. We roll her out and she's out. That's it. Um, we don't have to take extra time to do those things. Kind of a side note in all that, uh, a lot of assistive technology will, will help you with everyday things like that uh, so that it doesn't have to be an absurd amount of time. Maybe it's a little more time. That's understandable. But there's so many helps today that make, um, make it easier to take care of um, kids like Raylan and special needs kids. Um, this is really cool. I love technology. <laughs> Raylan, you want to show them how your van works? Good. Back out to the van, Raylan. You put my favorite song on. I put my feet up. All right, to get her in, once I open up the back, there's just these little levers here that keep the ramp closed, and I already opened them up earlier. But just pull the ramp down uh, so that the ramp goes straight on into the van, and we can just roll Raylan right in. And we just sing along, and I can't help but feeling just loving uh, this moment. She just rolls straight in. Now, see, there's the Q-lock down there. And I just gotta make sure that I roll straight into it. Straight on in. And once it's clicked like that, you know she's locked in place. Yep, you're safe and in, Raylan. Are we showing them how your van works? Yeah. And then when we're ready to get out, the button that I was talking about is back here. So all I do is I push the button and you'll hear it click. The thing that clicked was that Q strength down there. So it's unlocked now and I can just pull her back. Just like that. Really good system, it really is. Now I will say that when it fails, it's frustrating. <laughs> and it has failed a few times. Um, because it's electrical, if for some reason the connection to the battery is corroded or I don't know, it's failed at least twice. Uh, where it, whenever I push the button, it doesn't unlock. Now, even when there's no electricity to it, it will still lock in place uh, because that's completely mechanical. Uh, there's no electricity needed for it to lock in place, uh, but it won't unlock without a, a connection to the battery. Um, you can manually override it. Uh, it's not easy to do because the chair's in the way. <laughs> but basically, to manually override it, you have to pull this lever here. And then that'll trigger this thing to unlock. And with the wheelchair in place, it's kind of hard to reach this lever to push it. It's not impossible, but it's not easy. <laughs> uh, that being said, when everything works, and it usually works, it works great. And we really, really like the, the, the system that she has. 
Did you show them how it works? Yeah. We showed them how your wheelchair van works. <laughs> you did a good job. If you have any questions about how any of that works, let me know. I'm sure I missed something. <laughs> like I said, it fits our lives really, really well, and it helps us to take Raylan out more. Because uh, if it was if it was more difficult to get her in and out of the van, yeah, I mean, honestly, even if it's just a, a couple more minutes, uh, we would hesitate more in terms of going places. But we really have no hesitation now in terms of if we need to run to the store or if we need to just do little things. You know, sometimes you don't realize how often you just jump in the van for a few minutes. Um, now, with a kid like Raylan in a, in a chair, those few minutes can turn into at least double, triple the time. Uh, but if it's easy to get in and out, uh, it, it's super simple. So uh, we really like it. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here together? Say, Mom. Hi, Miss Caitlin. I'm talking to super family since 2015. Oh, yeah? That's a good channel. They have a kiddo a lot like Raylan. Oh. Super yeah. 2015. Go subscribe to that channel. It, it's a good channel. Uh, they do all kinds of things. And uh, it kind of fits with what I'm talking about today. Uh, they don't let anything get in the way of uh, taking their kiddos and doing things. Lots of good experiences, having fun as a family. Um, go subscribe to them. Are you so happy? Yeah, she is. Is it raining a little bit out there? Mm -hmm. I see some water on your wheelchair. She's in a good mood today. Yeah. Raylan, are you watching mom do schoolwork? Listening to all the cell and anatomy language on double speed. Anatomy. Before I take my test. Gonna take a test. Uh, I know. <laughs> she yeah, sighed for mom. You're not allowed to be by me because you might help me. When Abby takes her tests, there's a webcam watching her, and it makes sure that there's nobody else around, there's no other sounds, there's no papers around. It's really intense. <laughs> I dropped my phone so many times while recording the stuff in the van. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Glad it didn't break. <laughs> all right. All right. God bless you guys. I hope you all have a great day or night or whenever you're watching this video. <laughs> God bless you guys.